Boy, I've got a story for you. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, never mind. No, no. I shouldn't have mentioned it. No, it's personal. Plus, you wouldn't believe me. All right, then. I got a story for you, stranger. Uh, if and you can mind to listen. Happened a few years back. Fog rolled in off the ocean so thick you couldn't see but a foot in front of your nose. Uh, you remember that night? Well, don't know why I'm asking. <laughs> Everybody does. Anyways, I see these rabbits. My whole life, I ain't seen but one of the damn things. But that night, there were hundreds of them. Everywhere. All running deep into the fog. My mouth watered at the thought of putting one in my cook pot, so I chased them into the city. Fog be damned. And then I... I hear this screeching. And not one screech, mind you, but... Dozens of them. Each one cut off, suddenly mid-scream. I didn't want to know what caused it. But damned if that weren't coming from where all the rabbits gone. So I, I crept forward, slow like, rifle ready to shoot the first thing I saw. Then the fog cleared. Yeah, not in the whole city, mind you, just like... Just like this one ring of space smack dab in the middle of the street. In the middle of that space, surrounded by thick, white fog all around. With a hundred rabbits all crowded around, you know, twitching their noses and staring at this beautiful lady. She stood alone among the rabbits, naked as a newborn, save for one shiny ring on her finger. Yeah, her face and breasts were covered with blood. She stared at me like I was nothing. Like we was just having a normal day in the middle of a fog-ridden street. Me with my rifle and her with the rabbits and blood. And then she casually reached down, grabbed one of the critters, and bit the damn thing's head clean off. It screeched, but only for a moment before it died. Then she tossed the body behind her where I see a whole mound of furry corpses. She looked at me and gestured with one finger to follow her. And she turned, walked into a nearby building. The whole damn rabbit horde followed her. I don't need to tell you I didn't go to. No, oh, I spun around and ran back to camp as fast as I could. Packed up my things and kept going, running and walking and trudging. Until finally I collapsed on the ground. Brabus was the one who found me. He carried me back here to the ward. Said he didn't see nothing strange. Didn't believe one word of my story, neither. But, but you believe it. Don't you? <sighs> when I woke up, I... I was wearing the woman's ring. I took it off immediately, but... I kept it with me. Not sure why. You're a good listener, stranger. I don't know what this ring is or, or what it means, but if you're going out there, I don't know. Maybe it'll do something for you. Maybe you'll find something. Or maybe she'll find you. Either way, oh, I, I don't want it no more. Throw a notion if you want. I never could do it myself. <laughs>